it's time to start our texture rubbing. So step one is learning how to draw your monster. Step two is going out and gathering those textures or even bringing your drawing to the texture. For example, something like brick or um, tree bark. You can't bring that inside. So you can use things that you used for your texture book, that first lesson that you did um, last week. Um, or you could just use brand new textures. Today, I wanted to use something a little bit new, so I brought out cardboard. And like I showed you earlier, I kind of ripped off the first layer so that I got these ridges, or the ridges. <laughs> and I also got a leaf, okay? So I want to just point out a few things before I show you. If you look at this drawing, my textures are kind of layering on top of each other. They're not all nice and neat in a perfect line. I have mixed the leaf and the cardboard together to make it more interesting. So that's what I did on this one. On this one, I kind of used just the cardboard for the background of the monster head. And I used it on his eye too. But then when I got to the background, I used mainly just the leaf. And then I filled it in with a few textures. What I want you to notice here too is, well one, there's uh, more than one way to do this. And then two, I didn't just take my crayons and start coloring in and filling in my drawing that I just made like a coloring book. All of the color, or most of the color, is gonna come through rubbing um, the textures that we have with us. Okay, so like we talked about in our um, previous lesson, you wanna tear the paper off a little bit so that you have some of the crayon um, without paper at the top. That's how we do the texture rubbing. And you wanna place your paper on top of your texture. So I want to keep my eye, my monster's eye, pretty much just white. So I'm going to avoid putting my crayon on top of my eye. I'm only gonna rub where I want my texture. I'm also not gonna put my texture straight from the monster into the background. I want the monster to be one texture and then the background to be something different. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of angle my texture here, take my crayon, never make it vertical, make it horizontal like it's sleeping, and bring it down. Just start rubbing your crayon. Again, I'm not going over my eye. I want that to stay white. And now it's time for a new color. So I'm going to put some blue maybe over here. Put some good pressure on that so the textures come through. And now it's time for my leaf. I love the leaf because you really get an awesome outline of, of it. So I'm gonna um, put it in the corner. I'm also holding my leaf because it likes to slip underneath me. So I'm gonna hold it in place and just try to rub it without it slipping. Whoops. Looks like I tore my leaf a little bit. I've used it so much. All right, so you would create texture rubbings um, to fill up the entire head. Even when it gets to a skinny part like that, you can still do the texture right there and fill up this whole space. His eye is looking a little um, uncolorful, so I'm going to color that in. Just straight solid. You don't have to do a texture rubbing in every part of this um, artwork. And maybe on the other eye too. Right here, I wanted to add some more detail to these ears. I felt like they needed a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do some ovals. And this is an area where you could fill in um, one part of your monster with just a solid color. So I would just do that all the way through. You get the idea. Okay, let's pretend my monster has all of his textures and now I have this blank background. So you could, like on this example, 
put a different texture rubbing in the background. So the, um, the monster was cardboard, the background was leaves. And you can do whatever um, you want for that. But for this, I'm going to actually just draw lines, interesting lines like zigzags or curvy lines. So I'm going to draw some, actually some wavy lines. And I'm going to draw them in a row. Whoops, broke my crayon. And this will just add some detail, add some interest to your background. So it's not just um, blank. Notice how I am skipping, jumping over my ear right here. I don't want to draw straight through it because I want to make it look like the ear is in front of this background. So whenever we want to um, create overlapping like that, we always jump over what we want to be in front. Jump. It's in front. Okay. Maybe I want to add some spirals in between my lines. Or maybe even some triangles. You are the artist and I can't wait to see what kind of things you guys come up with. Okay, so that is how to create the texture rubbings. Remember you are creating two drawings, not just one, you're creating two. Um, so you will take a photo of each one, upload it to the Google Classroom, all that jazz, and I cannot wait to see what you create.